The third thing that you should do whenever you're selling your house on your own is to make sure that you have a survey available. Now this can be the original survey that you use whenever you purchase the house, or it can be a new one. Um, you will have to get a new one though if you've added a shed to the property, or if you've like banged out a wall to open up the kitchen in the living room, that would also have to require you to get a new survey. Um, the surveys only cost around 100 to 600 bucks. Um, it really depends case by case, depending on how much square footage you have and how much your acreage is on that property. Uh, the lender and the title company may need it, um, but usually just the title company will end up needing it. That way they can transfer everything into the new buyer. Um, on the bright side though, with it costing 100 to 600 bucks, um, it is all negotiable. So you as a seller may not have to actually come out of pocket at all for it. You can force that upon the buyer to make the buyer pay for a new survey. Um, but with the cost that buyers actually have right now, um, it may be a good idea to pay for your survey already. That way, whenever you actually go to sell the house, you have all your documents ready. You can push that off to the title company. And all a survey is is just showing you where your property lines are. So if you have a fence, that will also kind of tell you and indicate where your property lines are at. But a survey is going to tell you exactly where it is down to the foot.